In the last video, we left you with a question. If you already know there's a cycle in a linked list, how do you find the starting note of that cycle? Today, in just three minutes, I'll give you the answer. A lot of people's first idea is to use a set to keep track of the nodes we visited. As you walk through the list, you store each node in the set. If you ever see a node that's already in the set, that's the start of the cycle. This works, but it needs extra ON space. There's actually a more elegant way, using the fast and slow pointer method. This technique not only detects whether a cycle exists, but also finds the exact starting node, using only O1 space. It works in two steps. First, you use a slow pointer that moves one step at a time, and a fast pointer that moves two steps at a time, until they meet inside the cycle. Second, you leave the slow pointer where it is, place a new pointer, P1, at the head of the list, and move both P1 and the slow pointer one step at a time. The point where they meet again is the start of the cycle. So why does this work? Let's define some distances. Let L be the number of steps from the head of the list to the start of the cycle. Let C be the length of the cycle. Let X be the number of steps from the start of the cycle to the meeting point, and Y be the number of steps from the meeting point back to the start. Notice that X plus Y equals C. The slow pointer travels L plus X steps to reach the meeting point, and the fast pointer travels twice that distance, which is two times L plus X. Because the fast pointer has made extra full laps around the cycle, we can say two times L plus X equals L plus X plus N times C. Simplifying this gives L plus X equals N times C, which means L equals N times C minus X. We can also write this as L equals N minus one times C plus C minus X. And since C minus X is Y, we finally get L equals N minus one times C plus Y. This means that if one pointer starts from the head and the other starts from the meeting point and they both move one step at a time, then after the first pointer walks L steps, and the second pointer walks n minus one times around the cycle plus y steps, they will meet exactly at the start of the cycle. Here's the Python code. The first phase finds the meeting point. The second phase finds the start of the cycle. Time complexity is on. Space complexity is o1, making this both efficient and elegant.